I can't pretend to have voice of children, but I can demonstrate the silence. You see that it is about grief, about torture, and above all about the callousness, as though they offered a language, connecting the moment it represents with the moment in the second half of a cornfield with birds flying out of it. Absolutely still, soundless, where a circle of onlookers has already gathered. The details have to be rearranged, selected and rearranged, not unlike the dog of his master's voice. But remember, meaning changes. Meaning changes. Time can be turned into a pet. It can be presented as a pretty girl anyway. But I am controlling and using for my own purposes the means of reproduction and its unique original meaning has multiplied its possible meanings and destroyed time itself. This is mystification. Yet what is this seduction which depends on unfolding time? It's as if the painting fears their directness and accessibility. But why is it so important to preserve and display the few facsimiles? Once all these paintings belong to their own place, now they have to hold their own against all the other information which is jostling around them to appear on the same page or the same screen. Only instead of light traveling outwards, appearances travel in and are part of a strange poetical world of metamorphosis. A dog called those appearances reality.